Welcome to Simple Software Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete a pattern of rows in Excel. Now this request comes from the Microsoft Tech Community and they're saying that they have a sheet of data and they want to delete three rows after every two rows and they want to automate it because doing it manually is going to be a lot of work. So I think I found a pretty good solution for this. So the way that I would recommend doing this is so I have my list here and I want to delete three rows after every two rows. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a keep delete column here. And in this, I'm going to follow my pattern. So I'm just going to type keep for two because I want to keep two and then I want to delete three. So I'm going to add delete three times. Okay. So now what I can do is I can highlight this selection and then when I go into the corner here, you can see that my cursor changed to that black plus sign. That means that I can drag this down and it's going to keep that pattern. Uh, sometimes it'll guess a pattern if, if you've started, you know, one, two, three, four, five. Um, but it's, it's a great way to repeat a pattern very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and click down there and I'm going to just drag it down to the bottom of my list. So you can see it's following that pattern still. Keep two, delete three, all the way up and down. So now what I can do is I can highlight my, my uh, sheet here. I can go to the data tab and then I can sort. I could filter too. If I, if I don't want to delete them, I could click on filter and that's where I could choose which ones I want to show. So I could just show the ones that I want to keep. Um, I can do that. Um, I'm just going to click on filter to get rid of that. But what I want to do is I want to sort. So um, my data has headers because I have random list and keep delete. So I want to sort by keep delete. And I want to sort A to Z. So I'm going to click on OK. So now all of those rows that I designated to delete, what I can do is I can click on this top one. I can drag down. Oops, there we go. And I can delete. So now I just have the columns that I designated that I wanted to keep. So I hope this was helpful. I hope this explained um, hopefully a solution to uh, this question on the Microsoft Tech Forum or Tech Community Forum. Um, so hopefully it was helpful to you. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Um, leave me a like or comment if this was helpful or if you have more questions or ideas. You guys have great ideas. Uh, and have a great day. Thanks so much for tuning in.